Good morning brothers and sisters uh, from here in Claycross. I'm at Brother Kyle's today and Kyle's going to be saying the uh, sacrament prayer taken from the Bible uh, where Jesus shares about sharing his body and his blood. So I'd like to welcome us all with a prayer on this Sabbath day which is the 2nd of March 2024. So let us bow our head. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come together with you and we invite you to be with us this morning as we uh, bless the sacrament and as we take the sacrament that it will empower us for the rest of the week to um, to be your hands and feet on our earth. So, Lord, we thank you that you can fellowship with us and we can feel that through the Holy Spirit. And I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's lovely to be here again with you with Brother Michael on this rather dismal, wet, rainy day. Yeah. But that's the way things are. Good morning. So, Kyle, we're going to do a uh, Church of England blessing on the the bread and wine. Yes, the Catholic. Or Catholic, yeah. Yes, Catholic universal prayer. Catholic universal prayer. As Knights Templar, we use this. Over to you, Carl. Morning, brothers and sisters. At this time, we welcome our present to Christ's table. We invite all who would participate to do so as an expression of the peace and love of Jesus Christ, in whose name we worship. The Lord's Supper is a sacrament, a time to focus on the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As disciples of Christ, we renew our covenants and recommit together to His mission, to grow closer to Jesus Christ as individuals and as a community, worshipping Jesus Christ through God's Word, the sacraments, ministry, outreach, Kabbalah, and Jubilee. We encourage all that are worthy to receive communion to do so frequently and devoutly. I would like to read the blessings on the, on the bread and on the blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. As we remember, as we're taking the sacrament, that we bow or kneel, which is our preference if we can do so. And whilst they were at supper, Jesus took bread, blessed it and broke, and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take ye and eat, this is my body. I would like to now offer my the blessing upon the sacred blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. And taking the chalice, he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which shall be shed for many unto the remissions of sins. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, we're going to start off our Sabbath service here with a scripture, and that scripture is 1 John 4, 7 through 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. They that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. I This is what I talk about a lot, and I'm honestly not expecting a whole lot of people to watch this message because I, I just... I beat this horse to death. We've got to love each other. The fellowship is about love. If you were to say one one thing the fellowship is about, 
Unity and diversity is love. The priesthood in action is love. Teaching people about God is love. Learning to love God and love your neighbor. So this idea that, that John is saying here, in 1 John, let us love one another. If we are a fellowship of Christ, the only way we can fellowship one with another is by loving each other. When we're born again, we're born again because we have begun our journey at Teshuvah, returning back to the path, and, and we are now Israel. Israel means the path back to God. Straight to God is actually how you translate it. Israel. And that straight path, and when we sin, we, we miss the mark. We go off a little bit. But once we're born again, are we perfect? No, but we're on that path. We're headed back to God. We see the love. We see the light of Christ, and we walk towards it. And what happens when we become a mirror for that love? That light of Christ shines through us out and to heal the world. I, I talk about that. I talk about it over and over and over again. They that loveth not knoweth not God. I, I see so many people out there saying, I'm a Christian, and I hate these people. I'm a Christian, and these people are the enemy of God. I'm not going to condemn them. At the same time, the scripture very clearly does. When you call someone an apostate, that's not a loving thing to do. I had someone just this week tell me, well, if you don't believe this, this, and this, then you're an apostate. You're, you need to just shut up and get away, go away and disappear and, and not exist anymore. I'm like, do you really hate your neighbor so much that you don't want to see who they are, what they have to offer? And I wasn't even talking about the fellowship. I was talking about Community of Christ and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Strangites, and saying, hey, these people exist. So when you talk about the Latter-day Saint movement, you can't just assume it's only your church any more than they can. And this person was incredibly offended. How dare you acknowledge the fact that other people exist? That's not unity. That's not the love of God. Even if they are wrong, there is a Christian way to talk to people and respect their opinions instead of just instantly condemning them. That love, in my opinion, is the most controversial thing. Because it's the one thing people really don't want to do. We don't want to reach out a helping hand and love our neighbors. It, it's sad, and but it's true. God asks us to do the simplest thing. Be kind. Be respectful. Represent Him in a way that He wants to be represented. And when I say He here, I mean Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ whipped the merchants at the temple. Yes, He called some people hypocrites. But you can't just cherry pick those couple of things where people were abusing power over other people and assume that the rest of his life, the rest of his ministry just didn't matter. People love to point out, well, Jesus, he told him to go buy swords. Yeah, two. They sold the things, took the money, and went and bought two swords for everyone. And then when one of them was used to hurt someone, Jesus healed them. It's easy to cherry pick the things we want to see out of the Bible and the Book of Mormon and any other book of Scripture. When we live the law of love, when we have truly been born again, I want to testify to you that yeah, we, we will still do some cherry picking because we're not perfect people. But that love will help us to accept others and to stop cherry picking the violence. Stop cherry picking the controversial things that put us at odds with one another. There is no doctrine, there is no theology that is so important that we can't be kind to one another. That we can't unify in diversity. Yes, there are certain things that 
we have to do to protect the innocent. But we do it respectfully. We do it with courtesy and kindness. And we do it out of love on all sides, from all perspectives, to the best of our ability as finite beings. My prayer for you this week is this. I hope that you feel of God's love. I hope you partake of God's love. I hope that you're excited about the opportunity to find other saints and worship with them here in the fellowship, in your local neighborhood, what have you. I hope that you, your love for others is so great that you're willing to invite people that you know and you're comfortable with into your homes to share this gospel message, to share these Sabbath services on Saturday, on Sunday, on Wednesday, on any day of the week that, that works for you. So let's put our shoulders to the wheels, brothers and sisters. And let's love one another. Let's unify in Christ. That's my message. And I leave it with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. In the name of uh, Jesus Christ, we thank you for our sacrament time together. Uh, a lot going on this week. Uh, again, Thursday night, prayer night. I've got some visitors coming from the U.S., uh, from the uh, Elijah Messes Church. So I'll, I'll probably be busy at the weekend, so and we look forward to seeing Terry and Mark. So uh, also, if you'd like to know more about the church, you can look on the website address, which David will give them. And they'll be either above us or below us. So, Kyle, would you like to say a closing prayer? Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for this day we have. We pray and hope that all the divisions and hatreds in this world will be healed. We ask the Heavenly Father to bestow Thy blessings on all God's children, no matter whom they are. I ask this truly in the name of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So God's blessings to you this week and take care. Shalom. Shalom, brothers.